So how do you write a cover letter when you actually have some work experience? Hi guys, welcome back to Akot TV and if you're new here, my name is Akot and this channel is all about immigration and lifestyle. So if that is your kind of content, please subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, turn on the notification bell so as soon as I upload a new video, you're instantly notified. So for today's video guys, we are going to look at how you can write a cover letter when you have some work experience. And a sample of this cover letter is actually going to be in the description box. Please remember that as soon as I upload this video, that cover letter is going to be online. You cannot copy even one word from it. Okay, let me not use word copy. Maybe copy is too harsh. You cannot borrow even one sentence from the letter in the description box. The whole idea is for you to look at the sample, read it, understand it, and then come up with a letter of your own. But if you borrow some concepts from the letter, make sure that you rephrase your words, you paraphrase, don't write word to word. Because if you do, your application letter will actually be run through, turn it in, and then you'll be pinned down for plagiarism. And that will be very, very sad, okay? So you don't want anything like that to happen to you. So. Please remember the whole idea of the sample letter in the description box, which you actually need to look at, read, understand, and then come up with a letter of your own. And off you go. You start sending applications for a job outside there. Yeah, so we are going to look at how to write a cover letter when you have some work experience starting now. Um, you will use this cover letter, the one in the description box. You'll use that sample to create your own if you're applying for a job that has been advertised and you have some paid work experience. You've worked somewhere, not on a voluntary basis, but you have been paid. So that's when you'll use the sample cover letter in the description box. It's somewhere way down there at the bottom of the description box, of course. And remember that you can actually use this cover letter irrespective of your education level. So whether you have a master's degree, a degree, certificate, diploma, whatever level, you can comfortably, please feel free to use the uh, to use the cover letter. And this cover letter is actually meant for early school leavers, current high school students, graduates, current university students, and masters, graduates, even PhD holders can use this sample. Let's look at the features of this cover letter. The focus of this cover letter is actually to prove that you're able to meet the requirements of the job and you're going to make a positive contribution to the organization or business. Now let's look at the key points of this specific kind of cover letter. This cover letter introduces you to the reader. It responds to the requirements of the job. It's supposed to attract the reader's interest and refers them to your resume. And finally, it does not include so many I statements. I. Too much eyes usually, many occasions, works to the negative. They normally disengage the reader, so you don't want to use a lot of eyes. It's not necessary and it's not even recommended. So what are you supposed to include in your cover letter? A good cover letter should always have your name, your email address, and your phone number at the top of the cover letter. At the top. Okay. It should also have the name of the organization and uh, the full names of the person that is actually going to receive your letter in the company. And these details should actually be at the top on your left. So that's my left. It's going to be on the left. That's my right. So on your left at the top. Your letter should also have a reference line. Uh, for example, reference application as a secretary. I'm sorry. A secretary is that word just that just pops up into my mind. Okay, never mind. Uh, the cover letter should address the reader directly. For example, uh, Mr. Wood or Mrs. Wood or Miss Wood. Okay, if you're not sure if the person if the person you are addressing the letter to is married or single, if you're not sure, then it's always safe to use Ms. Wood, Miss Wood. Okay, but if you're very sure they're single and you know it for sure, then you use the M I S S. And the cover letter should have a simple opening statement that generally introduces you to the reader. Uh, and of course, main body that um, highlights your relevant skills and experiences. And finally, a closing paragraph asking for an interview, you know, call of action. 
So this letter is very simple. Follow the directives that I've given you. And of course, there's a sample letter in the description box. Please make sure you look at it. Read it very well. If you're not sure, just comment about any question that you may have. And I will try and respond as fast as possible. Otherwise, thank you so much for spending time with me. I love you guys so much. There's a video which is going to pop up. Make sure you watch it. I'm sure it's going to be worth your time. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.